you can install the more than, uh, you can install them more than one at a time. Uh, one of the older clients allows it, but you can't get it anymore. Uh, I remember on my Vista laptop it allowed me to do it, even when one of my Mac wouldn't. If I'm remembering correctly, it's been so year long since I used it. I would not. I don't have a clue anymore. It's vague. That's an interesting stuff, and considering it came from like talons from six different things, it's kind of strange. Unless he had it, you know, just bless his staff with the ta with the claws, and that was it. But if you, I'm basically imagining he, the guy making the staff out of the claws, and it's just like, how the fuck did he do it? It's like the dwarf from Dwarf Fortress. Uh, there's a story. Some dwarf made a pickaxe out of their baby. Called it the suffering of genius. The person who uh, whose game it was who, that had it happen in it just calmed to like, how could they do it? Like there wouldn't be enough baby for it, like kind of thing. Not their exact wording, uh, but that's the kind of crux of it. Okay, let's wander back, I guess. Send up here soon enough. All right. Sorry, I'm just kind of like do 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 do. I don't really have anything to say right now. Touch of Dawn. I remember uh, watching guys let's play in a game, uh, Lands of War. There was some girl whose name was Dawn. So it's like, is that her touch? Like, what? Huh? Did you cut off her hand? Mm. Uh, d d d I'll, t I'll take it. I'll sell it. Uh, you've done great honor for both me and my ancestors today. Please take this for my gratitude. A uh, vision, a uh, right of vision. I cannot thank you enough for cleansing my tribe's well, Hunrin, and for fighting the savage Grim Totem to do it. But there is more to be done. It's time for your journey to lead you beyond a uh, Bloodhoof village. Zariman Two Moon stands by the fire in the north end of the village. Speak, uh, go speak with him, and learn the ne of the next ritual you must undertake. May the eternal sun. I'll go sell these eventually. Doesn't look like no hand to me. <sighs> He's frenzied again. Oh, I've been expecting you. I'm sure. Uh, I sense you would be coming to me, Hunter. Uh, Hunter. I can always recognize one who is trying to pass rights of the Earth Mother. Uh, right of vision. Again, be sure you are ready to leave Bloodhoof Village behind, Hunter. The next step of your journey will take you far from here. Your path continues uh, to lead onward, across the fields of Morgor. The, eye the eyes of the Earth Mother are on you at all times. When you are ready, consume the waters near the tribal fire. Once you have ingested the holy waters, your eyes will be opened, and the spirits will guide you. Oh, God. Uh, Alright, let's drink it. And then I nearly ran into the fire. Well done, spirit. Well done. Ah. Yeah. Okay, wolf spirits got jumps. Good on ya. And great suspension. Good, good. 10 out of 10 would test drive ag again. No herbs, herbs. Eh. 
I remember I managed to level my um, Dead Knight, like a main farmer, up to level 80. Um, I was doing quests as well, but what ticked me over to 80 was a uh, random herb or a bit of ore I got. Because you get actually do get XP if you didn't notice from gathering herbs and ore. So, yeah. Professions. Uh, 29. Hmm. Might be enough. I'm just thinking if I was to move on now to Northern Barons. Um, I won't be moving on for a bit yet. But I'm just thinking if I were to. I might be enough, but I'm not sure. Should be. Be, be not afraid, Hunrin. You've successfully passed the right of vision. I did nothing. I just, you know, twiddled my thumbs. Like, I, you know. I, there was no vision to that. I was just like, I could close my eyes and relax. I said, Wolf Spirit, take me where it willed. You know. You can't exactly have much vision with your eyes closed. Then again, look at Theresius, uh, from Greek myths, he's a blinded guy, but could see more than those with the sight. Because he had the vision uh, like of the gift of prophecy. He could see the future. Well, everyone else could best like see the present and the past. Uh, and by past, I mean true memories and whatnot. They couldn't like have, you know, foresight, but 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 behind, if you get me. They couldn't have, like, like he could glimpse into the future, they couldn't glimpse into the past. It was just through memory. Just to clarify. Um, I'll take the vest. Goodbye. Okay. Now I can click, uh, select the path, uh, a class specialization. Okay. Uh, I could choose marksmanship. I could choose survival. <laughs> where you get, you get explosive shot, where your character ties a stick of dynamite to an arrow. Um, I could get master uh, built him. I started throwing this into this. I could get beast mastery. I could get um, marksmanship, and I could get survival. Or you know, the important one is or the one of these. Uh, I'm inclined towards Beastmaster. That could be nice. Uh, reason I'm kind of towards Beastmaster is you can capture more beasts, such as, say, a dinosaur. Yeah, you can tame a motherfucking dinosaur. Oh, and your pet has a skill tree. I guess you don't unlock talents till level 15. Glyphs are something else you will unlock eventually, I don't know when. Uh, but they can get in, give you some minor abilities, like you could unlock a pa for Paladins. You could unlock, unlock a prayer ability where Paladin just like meditates for uh, prays for ages. Uh, it doesn't give you any bonus. Uh, beyond look, uh, looking cool and whatnot. So, since my pet is a Furiosity pet. You can change these. In the past, they were whatever they were. Um, so now my pet is a Furiosity one, which grants it Heart of the Phoenix. Uh, when used, your pet will miraculously return to life with full hit points, but can only be done every 8 minutes, or uh, 8 minutes after previous use. Um, dash, your pet move, pet's movement increases, uh, increases your pet's movement speed by 80% for 16 seconds. Not bad. Spiked Collar. Increases the damage done by your pet's basic attacks by 10%, and increases your pet's attack speed by 10%, and increases your pet's critical strike chance by 10%. Not bad. And this just increases the damage done by flat 50%. I love how everything else gives more abilities. Like, uh, can I have them? Uh, like, I only get two over here. Then again... I was gonna think, oh, these give two. Like mention ones, you get a level twenty. Maybe for whatever reason, since I chose this, I don't get them. But I know. Be careful. I know. 
A wild main totem. There's about one water well left to cleanse, named after the wild main clown. For this well to be pure, the land must offer the teeth of a fierce predator, the pearly wolf Alpha. Find the alphas to the north. They return to me when your hunt is finished. What brings you here? Only the most va valiant and honorable amongst the tribe can earn the honor of being laid to rest at the Red Rocks. The Rite of Wisdom. To gain acceptance among the elders of Thunderbluff, you must complete the Rite of Wisdom. Now that you've passed the Rite of Vision, the ancestral spirits of Red Rocks will give you, will give you the blessing of our ancestors. Uh, only those who have drunk the water, the water of uh, seers can gain the blessing. Um, travel east of Thunderbluff to the Red Rocks and seek out the ancestral spirit, Hunrin. A sacred ritual. Only the most valiant torn are laid to rest at Red Rocks, our sacred burial ground. It is an honor bestowed upon the greatest of warriors who helps found and defend Thunderbluff and those who have given the, their lives for the greater good of their tribes and chieftains. But it appears a foul menace has made its way onto our holy land. A band of bristleback interlopers is ravaging the gravesite. I am too old and past my prime to drive them away. They must be driven off with force, Hunrin. But of course, there's never any other way, is it? Uh, come closer, young one. In my time, I could hear the flutter of a praise-beating heart. But now you must speak up if if you want my if you want if you want your words heard. The hunter's way. Uh, you are eager to explore. I can tell. I too had the lust to wander once. Wander and hunt, for hunting is Torn's greatest honor. If you truly wish to follow the ways of the hunter, show me your skill and resolve. Bring me the cause of the flatland prowlers of Mogor. They are tough and cunning, fitting prey for a young hunter on the path of the hunt. All this talk about the hunt is making me think Bloodborne. So yeah, I would really love to play that game. I haven't gotten to it yet. Tell me your story, Scorn. I've run, ma I've run through these plains for many great, for many many seasons, and I have hunted, uh, and I have hunted great beasts, and I have, and I had never been bested until I faced Ghost Howl. Long ago, the Master Wolf was an ally to the Torn and fought bravely against the Burning Legion. But he was wounded savagely by a demon, and the tear in his flesh never healed. Eventually, it drove Ghost Howl mad. Now he roams the plains in agony, seeking an end to his pain. To my shame, when we fought him, I lacked the, slay the, I lacked the strength to slay him. Interesting. Farewell, peace friend. Still, I'm sure he gave it your all. Ah, my hand hurts. I'll just sell this. I could auction it, but I doubt I'll get much. I've no... I know why. System... No. Tell me I hate you. Wait, wait, wait what? Did he? I'm sure he said, how may I hate you, but the way I heard it was, how may I hate you? And it's just like, wait, what? There. There we go. I'm just used to it cleaning up that way, so it's strange when it cleans up any other way. Hunrin, my brother soon stands before Chief Bloodhoof, and it is my honor to make his headdress. Uh, make his headdress for him. I want to ask you a favor while I finish tanning these leather straps. It is not there. There is not time for me to find enough feathers. I was wondering, would you gather more for me? You can find feathers of the correct size from the harpies residing far to the north and northwest of Thunderbuff. I need only six azure and six bronze feathers to complete the design. So, of course, I have to go kill 12 harpies and 12 and else. Uh, prowling. Uh, movement speed reduced by 50%. Nice uh, attempt at being invisible, but not good enough. Apparently, that one had no cause. He was walking on stumps. He was referred to as Stumpy McGee by his friends. They weren't very nice friends. And that uh, Prairie Alpha had no teeth. He was Gumsy McGee. They weren't very creative. Yeah. 
And for this one, for some reason, this one had a tribal vest, which isn't actually half bad. Well, toss it on. Here, I have to stop for a second. I'll be back in a moment. I'm just gonna log out so nothing happens. So, BRB, folks. <laughs> 